On this edition of Plastic Fantastic, we're going to talk about a very special toy. One that helped launch Mattel's Masters of the Universe line into the stratosphere in 1982. This was the centerpiece of many He-Man collections in the 1980s. And to this day, it remains a pinnacle of design and playability for action figure playsets. Now, I wanted to take you on a tour of this playset personally. But unfortunately, I'm 6'3", and this playset is barely two feet tall. But I've got one better for you. I know a guy who's wanted to get his hands on Castle Grayskull since 1982, and he's here with us today to take you on a personal tour. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Skeletor will be giving you a tour of Castle Grayskull. And I became He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe. Only three others share this secret. Finally! Apparently the sorceress was underwater on her last mortgage, which makes Castle Grayskull mine at last! The key to Grayskull is the Power Sword, which I have half of. I found it in a crackerjack box. I command the jawbridge open! Well, this is underwhelming. The dungeon is just a sticker, and this weapons rack is fake too. Ah, a real weapons rack. Apparently the sorceress has more guns and knives than Bass Pro. Well, at least there's something to keep that furry oaf occupied. Hmm, an elevator. Maybe the power of Otis will take me to the power of Grey Skull. Another room with nothing in it! Ah, a computer! Excellent! I can send my rivals a twit pic of myself from inside Grey Skull. That should piss off Hordak royally! Wait! This computer is fake too! It's just a piece of cardboard! The power of Grey Skull must be here somewhere! Ah! Why is there a cardboard standee of an astronaut in here? He looks like a painting I saw once on the wall of a mellow mushroom restaurant. This place makes no sense. There's nothing else in here but a throw rug with an eyeball on it and a hideous chair. Is this what Skeletor had suffered countless humiliating defeats to possess? A cosmic Barker lounger? Might as well see if it's comfortable. Ah. Well, at least the throne of Grey Skull is comfortable to the seat of Skeletor's pants. You've come to Castle Grey Skull for the last time, Skeletor. Ah, uh, for once, can't you let me have my moment, you self-righteous son of a bitch? What have you been protecting here anyway? There's nothing here! No magic power, no epic weapon, not even a coffee maker! And another thing! Oh! Here. <laughs> <laughs> I take back everything! This is the greatest chair in the universe! I think... I think I've broken my ankle on this decal. Somebody, help me! Aw, oh, don't worry, He-Man. Maybe one of your goofy friends will show up to save you. Like Fisto. Although I understand he's only good at one thing. Oh, dear God! Not Fisto! <laughs> hey there, Eternia. Don't pretend like you're not impressed. Before we go, I just want to give you a few collecting tips on acquiring a Castle Grayskull. There are a lot of unique and small parts in this playset, so it's wise to know what you're looking for before you make a purchase. We'll start with the weapons rack. As you can tell, there are a lot of numerous weapons on here that can get easily lost, particularly this small pistol. This pistol alone can go for $35 to $40 on its own, if you can find it. So, if you want to be a completist and you want everything in your set, you better get it with your initial purchase, because otherwise you're going to have a hard time finding it. These cardboard cutouts, this weapons rack, this astronaut guy, and this computer, these are easily lost as well. They got eaten by the dog, disappeared. So if you want to replace these, you can get repros all day from scans online and then print them out. But if you're a stickler for originality, you're going to have to track those down, and that isn't going to be easy. The trap door right here in the floor, the hinges. The hinges are weak, and over time they can crack and break, in which case the trap door won't stay on the platform. So you want to make sure this is working. You can find these every now and then for sale individually on eBay, but not often. 
This parachute cord and gargoyle that are used as a pull tab for the elevator, this parachute cord often breaks and then when it does, kids lose the gargoyle. So look out for that as well. The flag is the last one I wanted to mention. Oftentimes this flag is missing or the sticker is gone. You can get repro stickers, but again, if you want originality, you're going to have to go through another hoop or two. Ultimately though, this is worth the effort. This is the iconic playset of the 1980s for action figures. And if you're an action figure collector, you've got a big hole in your collection if you don't have it. So go find one. The fact is, fighting never proves anything. Trying to find a peaceful way to settle a problem is usually the best way. And if someone calls you a coward or a chicken, don't let it worry you. It often takes more courage not to fight. Until later, bye now.